In this video, we're going to go through a few fraction work problems that came out in the previous PSR exam. As we've learned during lessons, whenever you come across work problems involving fraction or percentage, it would be best to use bar model for better understanding. Let's look at this first work problem. Yasmin baked some cookies. She gave 5 over 8 of the cookies to her sister. So the fraction that we're dealing with in this particular work problem is 5 over 8. So let's split the bar into 8 equal parts. Now 5 over 8 is given to her sister. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 she gave to her sister. After she gave 5 over 8 of the cookies to her sister, we have 7 cookies and 20 cookies remaining. So these three parts are made up of 7 cookies and 20 cookies, which total up to 27 cookies. Our goal here is to find how many cookies there are in one box. So if these three boxes is equal to 27 cookies, so in one box, 27 divided by 3, which is equal to 9. So one box contains 9 cookies. Since these are all equal parts, each of this box also contains 9 cookies. But the question wants the number of cookies she had at first. So at first, she had 9 plus 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 9 or 8 times 9 which is equal to 72 cookies. She had 72 cookies at first. Now let's look at a similar word problem. In the morning, a baker sold 1 over 5 of the cupcakes. So the fraction that we're dealing with here is 1 over 5. So let's split the bar into 5 equal parts. One of the five parts she sold in the morning. So we have four parts remaining. Out of these four parts, the baker sold half in the afternoon. So half of four parts is two parts. The baker sold two parts in the afternoon. After he sold the cupcakes in the morning and in the afternoon, he had 40 cupcakes left unsold. So our goal is to find how many cupcakes there are in one box. If two boxes contain 40 cupcakes, then one box is equal to 40 divided by 2. 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20. One box contains 20 cupcakes. The question is, how many cupcakes did he sell all together? As you can see in the bar model, he sold 20 in the morning and 20 and 20 in the afternoon. So all together, he sold 20 plus 20 plus 20 or 3 times 20, which is equal to 60 cupcakes. The baker sold 60 cupcakes altogether. Let's see the next word problem. Shima read 162 pages of a book. It was 3 over 8 of the total number of pages in that book. So the fraction that we're dealing with in this word problem is 3 over 8. Let's split the bar into 8 equal parts. She read 3 out of these 8 parts and these 3 parts contain 162 pages. So 3 boxes is equal to 162 pages. Our goal is to find how many pages there are in one box. So 1 box is equal to 162 divided by 3 which is equal to 54 pages. Each box contains 54 pages. The question is, how many pages are there in the book? So the total number of pages is equal to 54 plus 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 54, plus 54, plus 54 or 8 times 54 which is equal to 432 pages. There are 432 pages altogether in the book. Let's look at the next word problem. Nina baked some tarts. She gave 2 over 7 of them to her sister. So the fraction that we're dealing with here is 2 over 7. Let's split the bar into 7 equal parts. 2 of these 7 parts she gave to her sister. 
After she gave two parts, fortunately, we have five parts remaining and two out of the five parts she gave to her neighbor. After she gave some to her sister and some to her neighbor, she kept 72 tarts for herself. So the remaining three parts is equal to 72 tarts. Our goal is to find the number of tarts in one box. If three boxes is equal to 72 tarts, then one box is equal to 72 divided by 3, which is equal to 24. Each box contains 24 tarts. But the question is, how many tarts did she give to her neighbor? She gave two parts to her neighbor. So if one box contains 24 tarts, then two boxes is equal to 24 plus 24, which is equal to 48 tarts.